Hey guys, and Bill, uh, thanks for another good uh, tip about tomatoes. Um, here's an example when you make a mistake and you put tomatoes. And here is my Cherokee Purple that I just really love. Uh, they're heirlooms and they're a purplish color and they're really meaty and really tasty. Uh, but this year they were planted in an area where they got too much shade from the greenhouse. So I have a couple in there that may be usable, but pretty well all of them are rotted. So I'm multitasking here. I'm going to be filming about the issue with tomatoes being in the shade. And also I'm going to try to wear Sparky down because today is day two we have had rain and his pen outside is just too wet he don't want any part of, of that and he wanted out this morning out of his indoor terrarium so yesterday was a very difficult day trying to control him inside and having him so wound up so i thought if i could just get him to move around the only problem is with turtles uh, sometimes they're not interested in moving around. They just want to you, you put them outside and give them the option of walking around and they sit in one spot. So it can be a tedious walk with the turtle. Uh, so this row here is doing pretty well, but we've had issues with a lot of the tomatoes splitting. Now this one is not too awfully bad, but it's split. Um, raspberries being this, the end of September, September 30th, 2015, and we are still getting uh, raspberries, black, I mean um, red raspberries. So I just have to wait until these dry out some in order to pick today. But I've been getting about a quart a day and we've been scarfing those down so I'm gonna head over on the other side with Sparky and show you the Rutgers Rutgers uh, on this side we're still hit with uh, shade some shade whenever the grapevine is up here but it is um, not as bad as over there close to the um, greenhouse as it, ca it is shaded up till afternoon. Uh, so the, the Rudger issue, I believe um, the Rudgers would be a good choice for inside the greenhouse. Just a guess because as you said Bill, they don't get very big and the fact that they don't get uh, very uh, very large is um, maybe it would just be a better better choice for the greenhouse rather than try to grow a larger tomato plus we like a smaller tomato and the Rudgers are one of the best of the best because they're red and they um, here's another one over here okay spark They will get really red, and they're really, really good. And one other thing, you mentioned biochar, which is would be like uh, wood ash. Um, I'm wondering, most likely, the wood chips as they break down would be the same principle adding the minerals to the soil. Uh, it's just a guess. Um, the only thing is the biochar would already be broken down so that the soil, so it would be bioavailable to the soil right away instead of having to wait. With the wood chips it might take three years before they're completely broken down. So I've got to do some investigating on the, um, the biochar uh, which I'm very interested in uh, using to uh, amend the soil.
that's it guys